The Humboldt County deputy behind a series of controversial cash seizures along I-80 is no longer with the sheriff's office. The I team first obtained dash cam video of one of the deputy's drug interdiction stops, and that video led to an investigation by the state attorney general. The I team's Glenn Meek joins us now with uh, the results of that AG investigation and the fate of the deputy seen in that video. Well, that's right. The video of the deputy confiscating about $50,000 in cash from a motorist became a rallying point for advocates of civil asset forfeiture reform. And after we aired the video, a new sheriff was elected in Humboldt County and the drug interdiction stops were suspended. Now, Lee Dove is no longer a deputy and the interdiction program that he was part of is also gone from the sheriff's office. That's not trying to visit. Well, it. it was this dash cam video first aired by the I team in April of 2014 that led to lawsuits and calls for an independent investigation of cash seizures in Humboldt County. Then Deputy Lee Dove had found $50,000 in cash and about 10 grand in traveler's checks while searching the car of a motorist, Tan Nguyen, who'd been stopped for speeding. I'm convinced that's dope money. Now, you may get away with the you may get away with the, with the cashier's checks and stuff, but you ain't getting the cash. That's going to be seized. Lee offers win a deal. Abandon the cash or Dove will seize it anyway and have the car towed as well. It's your call. If you want to walk away, you can take the cashier's check, the car, and everything in it, and you can bolt. And you'll be on your way. But you're going to be walking away from this money and abandoning it. Our sheriff and our DA have said, oh, there's no wrongdoing here. Well, we'd like to hear that from the AG's office or from the U.S. Attorney's office or from someone outside of the county. I don't have all day to sit here debating it. You need to give me a decision what you want to do. After the dash cam video went viral, a new sheriff was elected in Humboldt County who asked the Nevada Attorney General to review the controversial stops. Now, Adam Laxalt's office has released this statement saying in part, after carefully reviewing the available investigative materials regarding the Lee Dove matter, this office has determined not to initiate criminal charges. The office has declined prosecution because the admissible evidence would not be sufficient to obtain and sustain a conviction beyond a reasonable doubt. I must also emphasize that the result of this investigation demonstrates my long-standing belief that Nevada's seizure laws must be changed to better protect property rights and the public. Deputy Dove, my name's Glenn Meek. I'm with Channel 8. Deputy Dove declined an interview when we first approached him in 2014. In June of this year, his job as a deputy ended. The sheriff's office says it can't comment about the circumstances surrounding his departure because it's a personnel issue. Just this week, Dove apparently agreed to a plea deal in an unrelated criminal case where he allegedly brandished a gun and threatened a customer at a convenience store. Now, according to his lawyer, Mr. Dove resigned or retired from the sheriff's office, and he is expected to plead no contest to a misdemeanor offense to resolve that criminal case unrelated to the seizures that involved the gun at the convenience store. Now, meanwhile, Tan Nguyen, the driver seen in the dash cam video, he sued Humboldt County and got his money back. And meanwhile, civil asset forfeiture remains a hot topic with many people of the mind that the government should not seize cash or property unless they have enough evidence to convict or at least charge a person with a crime. Such an involved case. Is this the end of it or not? It looks like pretty much the yeah. end if he takes that plea. He could withdraw it, but it looks like he's going to take that plea. All right. Thanks, Glenn.